80 and it's like there's a lot of people there it's just all sun neighborhoods and that's where like a huge amount of the violence takes place yeah a lot of the sun neighborhoods are on the other side of the the canals yeah i mean there's a bunch of canals though yeah but i mean like just because it's over there like it doesn't mean like you don't have to be in the sun sun neighborhood for like you could be the, the it's in the perimeter area it's in the radius of that shit, man and where do they hunt at don't they go to new orleans don't the sons go to new orleans east to hunt they come from both uh like the south and the east towards the center you know like uh the glider areas right below the lake yeah the hunting grounds man a new orleans family is calling for answers tonight after they say they were thrown an item at a parade with a racial slur written across it. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Family members say it happened Sunday during the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Metairie. Eleanor Tabone spoke with them in tonight's top story. They caught them all, uh, numerous of things and this banana was one of them. This is the item Jennifer Lawrence says her daughter caught at the St. Patrick Day Metairie Road Parade on Sunday. So you're traveling near and far to come show support. Why is this news, man? With bodies dropping left and right in this city, these gliders are having their St. Patrick's Day event. It's a it's hundreds of these floats. These people are throwing all types of gifts off. That's how they do. I mean, if you're not familiar with this. They throw off little beads and things and da 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 da. Yeah, it's the dumbest holiday in the world. For them not to have a hundred, if never was a hundred bananas with nigger on it, and a hundred black people caught a banana with nigger on it, fine. For one family to say we we caught a banana that had um, nigger carved in it with fingernails and shit. Um, it looks suspiciously like sister nails to me. I've never seen them throw fu- uh, fruit off a fucking float. Me neither. Me neither. Emotional. They caught them all, uh, numerous of things, and this banana was one of them. This is the item Jennifer Lawrence says her daughter caught at the St. Patrick Day Metairie Road Parade on Sunday. So you're traveling near and far to come show support. And, and and this is what we get, you know, a banana with a bow word on it too. For what reason? A banana engraved with this racial slur. The chat said they're helping the food desert. <laughs> yeah, them well, gliders throwing cabbages. They do throw cabbages and carrots from the uh, and potatoes and shit, or they used to at any rate for the St. Patrick's Day. The only stuff. time I've seen fruit or vegetables or anything like that was in Europe. And there's a couple of Spain, um, France, but they're different so, festivals. Here's my theory. She got thrown a banana, caught the banana and like, why are you throwing us a banana? What do you uh, think we are? Mm. That. And then when she told, told people they didn't get, they didn't get angry enough. So she <laughs> carved the N word in there herself. That you know so, what, buddy? I, that makes that makes sense, man. I mean, I believe because here's the thing, man. W- come on, man. Look at that. That looks so haphazard. The way, the way it's carved in there, man. Who would do that? Like, who 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 got time to do that, man? And then point up, and then throw it and make sure that a black woman catches it, like. <sighs> yeah, in Metairie, which is you know proportionally a very glider part of New Orleans, essentially the Greater New Orleans area. Eighty-two percent nine sun. Yeah, man. And every murder in Metairie is a sun man. They have a lot of murders in Metairie, man, and it's all sun men. Umbritos too. Well, recently, but historically, sun men. This is unacceptable. I don't know if this is the only banana they had. It could be several more. We never know. Jennifer says she was shocked when her 24-year-old daughter texted her this picture. Her daughter wasn't comfortable speaking to Eyewitness News, but told her mother she believed... So her daughter caught it. The mo- this woman wasn't even fucking there. Second-hand offense. This woman wasn't there. Okay, so her daughter probably in college at some woke university. 
or did it and can't look at a camera without giggling and laughing. <laughs> right. Why the daughter not up here? Yeah, why the daughter? How, how many how many hoaxes have we run into where oh, their person puts their uh, carves their own racial slur into uh, that, uh, paints it on, whatever. Yeah. She's college age too, so it, 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 that's a red flag for me. It, it, it just it, it just smells bad, man. Changes your mood about supporting certain groups and organizations. As soon as Jennifer got the pitch, it changes your mood. This this changes your mood about supporting certain groups. You know, you didn't support them. You just went down there. How is that supporting the fucking Irish people just by going down there? You didn't spend any money. You didn't have dinner. You didn't pay for parking. You, you came there to enjoy it, and they donated in order to go do that to entertain people. They donated the, their time. They donated their money to be able to go and entertain you. And now you're causing fucking trouble right. and branding them as racist. This is going to be the biggest story that comes out of this fucking parade. I promise you. 24-year-old daughter texted her this picture. Her daughter wasn't comfortable speaking to Eyewitness News, but told her mother she believes the writer intentionally threw the banana to her. For you to go out. Just look at how they throw these things. I've been I've been down here during Mardi Gras. It's listen, look how they throw this the way they throw this shit. You're lucky if you catch something. Like it's people out there that don't never catch anything because it's so many people. And you, you you pray to catch some beads or a fucking teddy bear, some shit like that. The fact they're that they're not looking specifically where they're throwing, right. it. they just say, "Oh, there's crowd, throw." For, some, for her yeah. to have thrown it to a girl and a girl catch it from this, or somebody throwing it when a girl catch it, the odds of that are fucking extremely low. And Boy, I find it hard to believe yeah. the sister didn't like take a video of her saying, "Ah, oh, what's up with this shit." Right, exactly. Like, yeah, like every time a black person get on, on TikTok a plane, or something, yeah, yeah, or yeah, open yeah. fire on the float right there. <laughs> well, that's how they're supporting the Irish. They're not, you know, shooting up the parade like the other parades. News, but told her mother she believes the writer intentionally threw the banana to her. For you to go out to support someone and receive something as vile as this, you know, it, it, it. It just changes your mood about supporting certain groups and organizations. As soon as Jennifer got the picture, she took to social media. This shouldn't happen. Not just my child, any child, any, not just, a, not just children, adults of another race. You, you just can't disrespect people. Jennifer's sister-in-law, Danielle Santiago, says the family is... Also wasn't there. Another person who wasn't there. Um, salute to CA, man. CA coming through real big tonight, man. Salute to CA, Ock Nation Hall of Famer, man. Um, Bag the Dog says the guy that was pranking people at the airport got arrested for murder. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Nah, remember that video I did? He was fucking with that fucking couple, and then they got yeah. mad and tried to stab him. It's shocking. <laughs> that they got hey, at least they didn't throw a watermelon off the float. Oh God! I'd have fucking knocked her ass out. Yeah, definitely, man. That would have been <laughs> fucking murder charge, man. Um, okay, we won't get in the Nas EBK, man. It's just shocking that that guy got arrested. I can't believe it, man. A guy that would walk up on somebody, would play a prank, and then threaten to kill them in the airport, ended up getting charged with murder. It's shocking. Um, Cash Cow says when the Indian woman at the Seven Eleven asked if you want two banana. For one dollar, and you black <laughs> man, that race? yeah, that's racist, man. Everything's racist. Um, can't you tell? Of another race, you you just can't disrespect people. Jennifer's sister-in-law Danielle Santiago says the family is outraged. From where I sit, there will be no attending St. Patrick's Day parades Thanks. ever again. And they oh, shit. Well, want we'll answers. That, it's unacceptable. We need an explanation. And we need to be assured or have some type of assurance to know that this will not happen 
Oh my God, they want to ex they they want an oh explanation my. in assurance. Who do you think you well they think there's some people that don't Dennis Rodman looking ass. They want to cancel oh the patty my. parade. But but listen, listen no, listen no. Hey man, can you um mute yourself, man? Um well listen, listen no man. They think that they think about how entitled this is. She's dead serious. She ain't playing. She expects to. Think about it. If she don't get what she just asked for, it's going to be more hell to pay. And she wasn't there. It's a power move. <laughs> She heard about it after her sister, her, her her niece texted it to her sister, and then her sister told her. She and wasn't she, there, and it didn't happen to her. But she it, needed to she, be. She's so offended. And it probably didn't happen. I would bet dollars to donuts that this is another race hoax. And then, so what if it happened? Let's just say it really did happen. So the fuck what? They right. they are. So, we got any we got any video of this because I want to see a video like this to be like like this the Bruder <laughs> film like it need I need to see an actual banana being thrown by somebody. Right, I mean, but it, but who gives a fuck? This is holding the country hostage, man. At this point, at this point, this is holding the country hostage. Yeah, it's a power. I I think I'm it's, gonna have to, like, like, I'm gonna have to drop you if you keep doing that. You like he just, you, you got a lot of fucking noise in the background, man. I'm gonna have to drop you, man. Um, salute to you, man. You was good though. You come up next time, but make sure you don't um drop your mic and make all that fucking noise while while we doing the show. Appreciate you though. Come back next time. Um, this is um this this woman right here. She really thinks that she gonna get. I promise you, she goes to sleep tonight waiting for, expecting the call in the morning from the fucking founders or the fucking, the board of the parade <laughs> groveling and fucking coming down on her knees, maybe giving her some free shit, telling her how fucking sorry they are. I bet you. If she wakes up tomorrow and that doesn't happen, she's going to be shocked. That's how entitled black people are in this country, man. They parades ever again. Santiago sees the family is outraged. From where I sit, there will be no attending St. Patrick's Day parades ever again. And they want answers. It's unacceptable. We need an explanation. And we need to be assured or have some type of assurance to know that this will not happen going forward in the future. But we pride ourselves on a family-friendly parade and we don't put up with this parade president dan savello says each rider must read the rules and regulations before signing on the very first rule states no offensive or obscene throws violation of this rule will result in immediate ejection from the parade i'm heartbroken too we don't in this glider is fucking probably really heartbroken mm -hmm. and it's all a Fucking load of fucking bullshit. Uh, now they're gonna be talking about ban bananas. <laughs> they gonna be talking about ban this fucking parade. Right. <laughs> ban better, Irish people. You better you, but you this glider right here. Hey, we won't the, have any of that. This is the problem, though. This is the problem here. Gliders. They 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 don't know how to handle these things, so they make mistakes, right? So what what he's doing now is legitimizing it, right? So now, in the eyes of any son person, this really happened because he came out and addressed it. He legitimized it. It's better to ignore this. Now I get it. They may make more noise, and they may get some kind of lawyer or something and involved, and they're standing at the podium, and the news is already giving them a three minute segment. You notice most segments when the sun man get killed, all the segments are two minutes. This yeah. segment is 
three minutes and 34 seconds. So, yeah, I mean, um, this is a special, man. <laughs> this is a special report. This is, um, think about it, man. He, you, you, you legitimized it. They, you this, legitimized this. This really wouldn't be that hard to figure out who threw it if it actually happened because you can see who's throwing you something. Like you can pick out that float and figure it out. Like it's not that hard. I would right. say uh, get the uh, get the uh, person that complained, the complainant, under a sworn affidavit saying this is this is the float that threw it, and then you can go in and investigate there. But until you swear an affidavit, meaning you're 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 not lying, you 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 are putting your name on it and you are swearing under to it penalty in, of perjury under penalty of perjury that uh we're not doing anything but here's my thing about that who gives a fuck why does a sun woman get to fucking stop the whole world right. because somebody threw a banana at her with a racial slur on it i'm right. saying get her under an affidavit because she probably pranked it and then oh 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 oh, oh i'm gonna shut up now but even that's too much, man. Like anybody else gets this. If if, if anybody this happened to no. anybody else in the world, if the world would not stop, if they wouldn't exactly. have even been able to go to fucking Twitter or fucking the only people that get to do this is black people. Now here's a twist. How about it's some racist guy in Honduras who's pissed off at black people about something, so he scratched that into one banana that got sent to Safeway. <laughs> In burnt scrotum, Louisiana, wherever the hell this is. Uh, you sound like <laughs> NYC glider man now. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. Um, nah, this, this glider right here, though, man, he, he, he this fucking idiot. This glider, the Jews crew gets to do stuff like this, though. They get to make know. up their little stuff. Not for a, a banana. Not if somebody if somebody threw a fucking. No, their banana is a swastika. It was a banana with a swastika carved into it. I don't think that the world would stop like this. Oh, this is yeah. black. Our our situations be happening organically. Right. I'm heartbroken too. We don't want to see this kind of stuff. The family say the incident occurred in this general area on Old Metairie Road. They also say the banana was thrown between floats 31 and 35. Now, we pass that information over to the parade organisation. They say that they're investigating, but their investigation could take a few days. We, we between all floats all 31 and 35. Um, yeah. they're really wow. This shit. I would have... Uh, listen, if this was a black... A, a black thing, we would have told that sister to go fucking piss up a rope, man. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. What? Somebody, th who gives a fuck? You gliders take all this shit seriously, man, and you have to. I get it. But some shit you gotta do. You gotta start telling some black people no. But no. they'll throw dildos at children for the gay people. <laughs> yeah. Say so if no. it wasn't important enough for you to note the exact float that 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 threw it, then it's not important for us to us to investigate. No, no, sister, we not sorry. Your feelings hurt. That sucks. You know that really sucks that somebody threw a banana with the n word at you. Um, you gonna have to put your big girl panties on, dust yourself off, and fucking find a way to carry on, man. You know, all it's a good thing that those floats aren't. Aren't, it's a good thing those floats aren't clearly marked with the number on them, too. So. Yeah, but that's at the front. Sister mm -hmm. got to move well, a lot to go get, see it again. So. Come all cultures, um, you know, all cultures have done a lot for the city. So you know, we want everybody to celebrate. Yeah, some people have done a lot for the murder rate. Right. It's a festive time. We need a formal apology. I'm anxious to get to the bottom of this, and my apology to the family. Oh that, my God, he's already apologized. So he's he submitted it. Not only has he legitimized it, it happened now. He apologized. Yeah. Hey y'all, I guarantee you, through through the black community down there, man, the 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 the, the, the um the New Orleans um Irish parade racist, y'all. 
and I'm telling you, 40 yeah. years from now, 40 years from now, they're going to be like, man, that racist ass parade, man, they racist, man. Yeah. Remember Banana Gate? Had, had to endure this thing. So, um, and I apologize to them. Your feet are made to walk on the ground, not on people. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Yeah. Yeah. Your feet are made to walk on the ground, not on people. <laughs> I don't know how y'all gonna get your way out of this. Man. You glad? Yeah. What about what about the uh, people stepping on top of people by uh, stealing from them and killing them in order to just exist in the world and going on there? Man, and you don't have any need for that. I ain't thinking about that. The, the chat says we need sensible banana control. Exactly. Yeah, they that's focus the on that. That's the only thing that's going to um, fix this. Let's see, Slidell. You said that's near Slidell? Well, the Slidell family is facing Slidell's, mounting uh, medical bills after a mother was. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Metairie's on one side, well, the, the west side, Slidell's on the east.